Hello, Age of Empires 2 fans, and welcome to the Flaming Camels you have to see. Uh, if you've been keeping track, there was an update just a few days ago, and in that update, the Tatars, a otherwise pretty underwhelming civilization, received quite a few buffs. And the one we're going to focus on in this game here, and you can see there's some big, big names here on the bottom right of the screen, is the Flaming Camel, which is pretty freaking hilarious. Uh, there's a clip I'm going to post in the description of this video, and that is the first time I've ever seen a Flaming Camel, and the Flaming Camel showed up in one of the newer campaigns. It scared a bunch of elephants off, and it was actually pretty surprising. I've never seen anything like it before. And so the Balance team, I don't know if it was because they've seen that clip, and seeing my community talking about it, or because they just felt like it might be interesting, they added flaming camels to the game. And now if you're Tatars and you research the Imperial Age unique tech, Timurid Siegecraft, which also gives trebuchets plus two range, it enables the flaming camel, and check it out, uh, boom, that is it right there. In, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say this correctly, In, incendiary camel loaded with flammable hay and brush. Is strong versus mounted units, especially elephants, which makes sense because in the campaign, it was up against a bunch of elephants. Um, so let's get to it. Let's get to it. Uh, this is a rather long game, and we get to see how the camels do in many different situations. Uh, Viper's in the blue. I'm sure you all know him. Best player in the world. His pocket, good friend and teammate, is Nili AoE from Germany. He's also playing as the Tatars. And then we have Tatito Dorito. Uh, Tato playing as the Tatars and the Teal. It's a 3v3 game. I'm not too familiar with the other team, but they seem of solid level because they are also, well, some of them are also in the Imperial Age up against the Secret Boys. Now, if you just listen to what I said, the Flaming Camel is supposed to be good against Cav, and especially Elephants. Uh, enemy team, we have Tatars, we have Khmer, and we have Tatars, so we could see some elephants. Tatars do have good cav. Uh, you could see cav archers. You could see step lancers. This is actually the first time that I had seen the flaming camels used against different types of compositions in a somewhat competitive setting. Uh, just because we don't know these these opponents here, uh, I could already tell they're of solid level. So I think, now we're gonna get to see them. <laughs> so here they are. Uh, it's hilarious to me because these things. They're not on fire when they stop moving, for whatever reason? <laughs> I can't really explain that. It's kind of like a demo ship on land, so to speak. It's so ridiculous! Send forth the flaming camels! 55 HP, zero armor. So that means that something like a cav archer would be able to micro them down pretty easily. It costs 70 food and 30 gold to make them, so it's not too expensive on the gold front. What's the line of sight like on these? Well, that could also be from the castle. I'm curious to see what the line of sight is on these flaming camels. Over on this side, uh, Viper's going to be making some, I'm sure. Uh, they're just all going for flaming camels. Here come Tato's flaming camels. <laughs> it's so it's so ridiculous, but is anyone else kind of sad? I feel kind of bad for the camels. You know, if it's a demo ship, I guess someone has to, to sail in the ship. But, whatever, they, they chose that. Well, they might not have actually. I, you know what, we're not going to get into it, I just feel bad for the camels. They don't seem too upset about what's about to happen. Uh, 40 military for Nilly, he's gone crazy here. But you see, th this push here is not elephants from the Khmer player. Joey is going for halberdiers and siege ram. Now this is Joey's point of view, and he sees the camels. <laughs> He sees the camels. Let's see how the rams do. It really took that many to take out one ram? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I guess he just, just has them patrolled here. They don't attack, right? So eventually they'll explode. I don't know if deleting them like a demo ship would do much. And here comes Tatito Dolito. Uh, chasing down the cav archers. Which I, th I feel like, again, would do pretty well. I guess the, the more realistic way of using these camels would be to, uh, let's say you're making knights and someone's making heavy camel against you. Uh, you could make a mix of knights and these exploding camels. Sorry, there's a lot of places to look for exploding camels at the moment. Here comes Viper. Now, I'm not sure if this is a bug or what, 
but I'm not hearing any noises for the explosions. And I believe this recorded game has bugged out, and I'm gonna send it to the devs. Because a lot of the audio with all these explosions just stopped working. But man, like, Joey has had huge success pushing in here with this type of a push. And it's pretty obvious right now the, the secret players are just testing out this ridiculous unit. So it does get a bit dangerous, right? Because it's 70 food, 30 gold. It's not cheap. And, uh, you know, will they actually lose if they continue to make these things? Look, it's so bad against Trebs! So bad against Trebs. There's other awesome things about the Tatars now, and if you guys really want to see Tatars in a in a competitive game, a competitive 1v1 against another civilization, well, no, I would say a civilization that's top 5. Tatars are probably still not in the top 5. Let me know in the comments. I have a cool 1v1 video planned for this week if you guys are down for it. But, uh, you know, we're seeing that the Flaming Camel doesn't seem to be too strong, at least against these units. Maybe people will be calling for some type of a buff for the Flaming Camel someday. Now, this is the type of unit where, as, as Nilly's, we don't hear the rams for whatever reason, sorry. Uh, his castle is getting rammed down. It would almost be better to make petards against the rams, but uh, this is a type of unit that's either going to be a meme unit or incredibly overpowered. I, I find it hard to believe that there's going to be any real balance to it, but I'm okay. Like, we need more meme units. I'm sick and tired of people calling my Teutonic Knights a meme unit. Am I right, YouTube? Jeez. Sure, there's very few competitive scenarios where you can make them, but they're not a meme. 12-year-old me disagrees. And Cav Archer's come in. Cav Archer Halb is working really well. Nilly is he's right in the middle of the team here, and they're trying to set up some trade. So they really need to mix in some other things to save Nilly. Viper doesn't really seem to care. Uh, spoilers, but he did kind of well in Hidden Cup 3. He's feeling good, and he's experimenting with the Camel Boys. Now, Red's Micro is good. Uh, <laughs> I've yet to see Viper really kill much with these Camels. Oh, man, what a waste of resources. Looks like we missed a bit of a boom here. Oh, man. Well, you know, I think this is going to be the strategy for Secret, because they're actually losing at the moment. The Camels have just not worked. You can see the KD here. That's not that impressive, especially for Viper. But if you want to continue to make these camels, you're going to need to stabilize. You'll need to make some other units and uh, hold against this and then probably trade a lot for more gold. And then you can you can experiment endlessly. And poor Nilly, man. He's like, come on, Tato and Viper, save me. <laughs> uh, here comes Viper with his camels. Okay, can he get the Cav Archers? Uh, yeah, there we go, baby. There we go. Let's go! Big explosions! Fix that KD up nice and quick. <laughs> oh man. There's still so many rams here. So we've determined the flaming camels are pretty garbage against anything but Cav. We got the splits from the camels from Tato. Our Viper's making more camels. He's on the move. Uh, this could be decent, actually. You know, the camels are pretty quick. It's just they're really low HP. I think for Cav Archers, you need to get a few explosions, because they're really high HP, so you need to get two explosions to take them out. Awesome. Just one explosion is going to weaken them. Look at this, man! Tato's still sending in flaming camels. How many camels does it take to take out a Siege Ram? It looks like ten. Certainly too many. Well, guys, uh, it, it seems quiet, doesn't it? Well, that's because the secret team is losing this game. They've tried their absolute best, but they are losing this game. They are adding trade, but if they continue to rely on only flaming camels, this is going to be trouble. Now, Red is uh, hes over here with his cav archers. We haven't talked about the strength of the, uh, of the Tatars beyond the camels, but the Tatar cav archers are beastly. It's great to see them being used. And now Viper's like, all right, we, we've trolled enough... Now we need to stabilize so we can troll more, right? So the risk of trolling is that you'll throw a game. So you don't want to do that. Tato's going to make Step Lancers. Um, and now we're going to have Elite Keshix from Viper. So this is the unique unit. It's a really interesting unique unit. You generate gold as you fight with it, I think. Let me make sure. I'm so sorry. It, it's, it's true that this unique unit was so rarely seen. Yes, okay, I always get it confused with the Lithuanian unique unit. But you generate a little bit of gold when you fight with it, and it's also kind of a cheap unit now. 
And again, if, if there are a lot of comments saying you want to see this in a competitive 1v1, I can actually show you the Keshik being used against a top tier Civ, which pros tend to opt for instead of the Tatars. Lots of trade, lots of gold income, and a secret. They're known for this. They're starting to stabilize. Unfortunately, with DE, uh, there's no real good casting uh, program here. You can see the teams aren't even organized here at the bottom left, so I'm sorry for that. Also doesn't show the trade. And it would take three or four clicks, and I have to constantly toggle this to show you the trade counts for each individual player. So you just look and see that the enemy team doesn't even have a corner right now, and there's plenty of trade flowing for Team Secret. Now, Tato built an outpost here, and he sees a castle from Red, so they're thinking about trading, and he's trying to send a Vil that direction. She's going to die. But that might mean Tato will maybe make a move towards that area eventually to deny that trade. So these elite step lancers, the jury's still kind of out on that as well. I'm not sure if the step lancers are, uh, I mean, they're definitely stronger than they were because they were buffed in the recent patch too. But is it a unit that maybe if you make in combination of the flaming camels, you, you can uh, do really well against halberdiers with? It's possible. You have that one range. Uh, the armor still what worries me with them. It's not the craziest amount of armor. But 160 HP, and the yeah, we can't hear the point, point, point. Sorry, but uh, you know this is the third time I actually tried the recorded game. The sound definitely bugs. But it seems to be working there. Now, what I want, and I have not watched past this point, is I want to see. Um, ooh, nice raid from Tato. I really want to see some elephants from Purple. I want him to realize, oh shoot, okay, my halves aren't working. I have 5,000 gold, let's make elephants. And then I want to see the camels work against the elephants. Oh, Viper's on the right-hand side! He's dealing with Siege Rams and Cav Archers from Tito. And boom! B boom Boom! <laughs> this is so awkward without sound. There we go. You know what? It did okay there. It did okay. I really wish there was sound effects so my nerdy voice wasn't <laughs> broadcasted alone here, but uh, Viper killed up quite a few CA. He has the Keshiks, he has some steps maybe on the way, and maybe a few more camels, and he really needs to keep these castles up. And Tato's still raiding. Tato's actually going into the trade, and he'll start poking, I'm sure. And then, oh, Tato, there's a hole here! And Tato's on his way! I wonder what he does with the flaming camels. He's 29. I think he should try and take out a castle, just to see. 29 flaming camels. Surely that's enough to take out a castle, right? Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh no! Are you kidding me? You need 40 of them? Ouch. You know, I just picked up on this, by the way. Uh, a fully upgraded flaming camel has 75 HP. Uh, the reason some of the players had 55 HP before was because they did not have bloodlines. So after bloodlines, it's 75 HP. Having Tato in the back of your base is such a nightmare situation because you're already dealing with Nilly and Viper in other areas. So you have to send all your military back to deal with it and then they push forward and you're seeing that here. A Viper's opting mainly for the Keshiks at the moment. Tons of resources. Nilly's kind of... he's still fighting a 1v1 against these Halberdiers. Uh, and he also has... he obviously has the Tamirid Siegecraft upgrade. So he could use the Trebs with 18 freaking range. So I'm not totally convinced that Step Lancers are the go-to against Halves just because of the cost, but at equal numbers, it was okay there, especially with the hill bonus. Oh, 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 Red's trying to stabilize because Tata's making a commanding push on this side. Red's here to deal with this, and oh, man, the Cav Archers are paying the price. Whoa! Did you see that? There was no explosion. This is still a bit buggy. <laughs> Viper uh, still making the Keshik. Do you get gold when you attack buildings? I think you do, which is pretty amazing. And uh, the enemy team's just going to give it up. I think they realize now Tato's about to run in. Full army of Step Lancers. Could be those exploding, those flaming, sorry, camels behind. And they end up calling the GG. Uh, I kind of got the vibe that Secret was going to drag that one on longer, actually, when they had all that trade. 
Again, I only watched it till maybe the 40, 40th or 45th minute, but uh, they, they decided to call it there. So what, is, what are your thoughts on the Flaming Camel YouTube? I, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I think that if it gets to a certain point, it will be too overpowered. Uh, so it's not like we want to buff that thing. We really need to see it. Um, I will try and find examples where it's used against elephants. If you watch the Twitch clip in the video description, uh, during the one campaign, I think, I forget what campaign it was, I'm sorry, but I believe it was involving Tamerlane, possibly. And, uh, basically, the enemy forces were too strong to deal with, and they had no choice but to frighten the, the stampede of elephants that were coming their way so they would turn around on the enemy. And so uh, the guy's like, send forth the flaming camels. Ah! <laughs> it didn't actually do damage to the elephants in that case, but but I love how they lined that up with the campaign. And seeing as elephants are so strong in the current meta right now, imagine a world where in a big team game tournament, uh, you, you expect the enemy to pick Khmer and go elephants. And so you actually pick Tatars so you can make flaming camels to mix it in to counter it. That would be interesting for team games, for sure. Uh, let's go to the achievements, though. I know I cut out some of this game. Uh, it's not like me to do that. I normally like to build up from Dark Age, but the reality was it was just a bunch of booming. And you can see that here. Uh, Viper and Tata with a ton of trade profit, ton of resources collected. I just wanted to... They, they just went Fast Castle, uh, and they boomed. And so I felt as though, while I do try and be entertaining when nothing's going on, <clears throat> force nothing... I, I, there was no need in this case. <laughs> uh, Tito and uh, Narvi tried to be aggressive and their castle times were later and then the secret guys just ran all over them. YouTube, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm really hyped if you can't tell. I'm glad to be back making content, closing in on 200,000 YouTube subscribers, which is a crazy and motivating number. Uh, if you want to see the 1v1 where Tatars were used against a top five civilization in a competitive format, let me know. And I'll make sure I get that up within a few days. We'll have more low ELO Legends soon. We'll potentially have that game I just mentioned if you guys are down for it. And a lot of other exciting things coming. But thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll see you next time.